Welcome back everyone, ready for a deep dive. Always ready. Today we're diving into a case that shook Brazil. The murder of Eliza Samudio. Yeah, this one's intense. It grabbed headlines all over the globe for a reason. Right, it's got everything. Murder, celebrity, power struggles. Mm. You guys really outdid yourselves with these sources. It's a story that reveals some unsettling truths about Brazil, that's for sure. Definitely. But we're not just about the headlines here, right? We're going deeper. Exactly. We need to understand Eliza Samudio, the woman at the heart of it all. Totally. It's easy to forget she was a person with hopes and dreams, not just a victim. Absolutely. So let's start there. Who was Eliza Samudio? Well, she was born in Foz do Iguaçu, Brazil. And she had this dream of becoming a model. Right. Catwalks, photo shoots, yeah. the whole deal. But life had other plans, as it often does. She ended up working as a call girl to get by. She went by the name Fernanda Farias. Imagine the struggle she must have faced. It's a side of the story we don't hear enough about. It's easy to get caught up in the sensationalism, but she was a young woman just trying to build a life for herself. Exactly. And it's with that backdrop that she meets Bruno Fernandes. Ah, Bruno Fernandes. The Bruno Fernandes. Right. Star goalkeeper for Flamengo. Huge celebrity. A big deal, right? Married, successful, living the high life. More than just a soccer player in Brazil, really. Almost like a god, fame, money, you name it. Yeah, and that kind of influence, well, it can be dangerous. Definitely. And that's where things get complicated. Yeah. Eliza gets pregnant in May 2009. And Fernandes wasn't exactly thrilled about fatherhood, right? To put it mildly. Some sources even say he pressured her to have an abortion. You have to think about the societal pressure, too. These guys are constantly in the spotlight. Image is everything. In an unplanned pregnancy. Career suicide, especially with someone outside his marriage. So much pressure. It's no wonder things escalated. Absolutely. This wasn't just personal. You've got Eliza's world colliding with Fernandez and the insane pressure of his career, a recipe for disaster. And this is where things get really dark. Eliza files a police complaint. She did. Yeah in October 2009, accuses Fernandez and some of his friends of assault and making threats. Wow. Saying they tried to force her to have an abortion. She even went public with it. That's brave. Right. Talk about taking a stand. Especially with the power dynamics at play here. Exactly. Fernandez could just deny everything. Oh, he did more than that. What do you mean? A judge actually dismissed the case at first. Seriously? They questioned if Eliza even had a real relationship with yeah, Fernandez. Oh, so, but what's that got to do with anything? It's like they were saying her claims didn't matter because of it. That's awful, but we see that happen all the time, unfortunately. You're right. Powerful people, they can silence others. It's a pattern. It's a huge problem. The systemic bias we see over and over. Absolutely. The system failed Eliza. Tragically. It did. But Eliza... She wasn't giving up. She has her son in February 2010. Good for her. Right. And Fernandez still denied he was the father. Of course. But get this. June 4th, 2010. Eliza goes to Fernandez's farm in Minas Gerais. To the lion's den. Right. Why would she do that? They were going to talk about child support. She was fighting for her son's future. And that was the last time anyone saw her. Just like that? She was gone. It gets worse. Ow. Oh. The investigation was all over the place. Mm. Anonymous tips, rumors. It was chaos. What about Fernandez? And then they find Eliza's son abandoned. Oh, my God. Those poor investigators. Talk about pressure. A missing woman, an abandoned child, and one of Brazil's biggest stars at the center of it all. And just when you think it couldn't get more intense, July 6th, 2010, the police make an arrest. Who did they arrest? Fernandez's cousin. His own cousin. 17 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. And he gave them everything. Wow. The walls were closing in. The cousin said Eliza was strangled. <laughs> dismembered. Oh, God. He even said they fed her remains to dogs. That's horrific. And get this. They buried her in concrete afterwards. Trying to hide the evidence. They're trying to hide the evidence. Ooh. They thought they could get away with it. This is Bruno Fernandez we're talking about. A national hero. Right. It was a huge scandal. The whole country was disgusted. The trial finally started in November 2012. It must have been a circus. Total media frenzy. Mm -hmm. And it went on forever. Delays, appeals, you name it. But Fernandez was found guilty, right? Hey, March 2013. Guilty of homicide, kidnapping, hiding a yep. body. How long did he get? Over 20 years. Wow. Okay. What about the others involved? His friend Macarau got 15 years. They all went down. Good. They deserved it. It wasn't just Fernandez. There's always a network, right? But here's where it gets crazy. Fernandez, 
he tried to revive his soccer career. Are you serious? Dead serious, after everything. That's unbelievable. There were people who still wanted to see him play. It was all over the news. People were outraged, rightfully so. And then new leads came out about where Liza's body might be. New leads, years later. Conflicting stories, rumors. It was like the case just wouldn't die. So many unanswered questions. It's yeah. haunting. That's what we keep coming back to, isn't it? The why. What would make someone do something so awful? It makes you think. Would things have been different if Liza hadn't gotten involved with a celebrity like Fernandez? If he was just an ordinary guy? That's the question, isn't it? Why? Fame, power. It can distort everything. And sometimes the people who need protection the most are the ones who suffer the most. It's a harsh truth. It is. But shining a light on these stories, it's the least we can do. So to everyone listening, thank you for joining our deep dive. You guys sent in some incredible sources. We've covered a lot, but there's always more to uncover. The Eliza Samedio case, it reminds us that justice is a fight, not a guarantee. And sometimes the pursuit of truth never really ends.